Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Yo, what's going on guys? I actually never filmed a proper intro to this video. So today, we're going to be going to the worst and the best reviewed shops in my city. So I've watched a lot of other creators make similar videos and one thing that I always notice is they always made it obvious that they were filming and I feel like when the person that's doing the service knows they're being filmed they're gonna try and do a better service than they usually would and we all know reviews can be misleading most of the time people are only gonna leave reviews if it's gonna be one or five stars so with that in mind we're gonna go ahead and check out these shops and see if the reviews are consistent with the experience so let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Hold on, get me, get me. Get, this is the main prize here. We just found the worst reviewed shop in my city. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna read some reviews here. Uh, who just says they want to charge a lot for their caca cuts. <laughs> they bleed my so many times they don't know how to cut off half an inch off the top because they'll go down bald. Very worst customer service, never want to go back. They don't know what the length they're doing. We went for a man haircut, they messed it up. If you love your hair and look, never go to this place. <laughs> oh man, I mean, hey, that, that's a fair warning. Came in and asked for a taper and got a fade, not even a good fade. All I'm trying to do is save your time and money and especially the embarrassment. And we have a picture here of some of their work. <laughs> hey man, I mean, their service was horrible, was grabbing my head very aggressively. <laughs> she was very rude to me. I uh, recommend don't come here. Alright, we're at the barber shop. I've actually been to this donut shop. There it is. Hector and Mary's. Alright, so uh, we're gonna do a. Uh, the bald fade and then we're just gonna see like the, the how much it costs the price the customer service the quality uh, how long it takes all of that and compare it to the best review <laughs> man he's learned how to drive <laughs> i'm nervous you don't have to I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous, but let's see how it turned out. All right, what's going on everybody? Um, this is the haircut from the worst reviewed shop in my city. I did just take a shower, so now we're able to see the fade for what it actually is. I am a barber, so I am gonna be kind of nitpicky with this. I am gonna put up some close-up shots of the after pictures. 
Okay, the haircut was $19. Personally, uh, I'm not really looking for the cheapest. I'm looking for who's gonna do the best work. And uh, you guys seen the reviews, people were talking crazy on this shop. So it wasn't the worst customer service I ever experienced. It wasn't the worst haircut I ever experienced. Okay. Overall, I don't think the shop, if, if I were to rate the shop as a customer, I would give it maybe three, three and a half stars. It wasn't bad. I, I, I would go back maybe. I, as a barber, maybe not. <laughs> if I was a client and I wanted a mid fade with the buzz cut and I was in a pinch, I would go back for sure. As far as quality control goes, she did miss some little patches. There is little hair sticking out. I know y'all seen it. Please do not be roasting my hairline, man. But the other thing is, she actually used clipper over comb here at the Prideau Ridge, which is very surprising to me, which creates this kind of a corner here, if you can kind of see it. And that's what happens when you use clipper over comb, which is why I wouldn't personally use clipper over comb on a buzz cut. I would just go with guards to get a more rounded look. One thing that just did not make sense to me, the, the bald line goes like this, right? And it's following, and then it randomly goes like that. On both sides, it follows, and then it goes like that. But if you're looking at the, the lines and the contours of the fade, this should be a consistent darkness right through here. And then this should be a certain lightness. But the fact that this darkness dips in showed that she started to contour it, but then flicked out randomly. That didn't make much sense to me. And then looking, there, there's some lines and some dark spots. And it's not the best fade in the world, but it's also not the worst fade in the world. Um, I see why it could potentially be the worst review shop. I think that, you know, they did an okay job, but now we're gonna get a haircut from the best review shop in my city. We'll see you when my hair grows back out. Yo, what's going on guys? It's been three weeks since my last haircut. And um, today we're gonna be getting a haircut at the best reviewed barbershop in my area. There's actually a lot of barbershops that are pretty highly rated. And personally, I think the best barbershop in my area is the one I used to work at, Clips on 66. However, not only will it be a little bit biased, but I already know all the guys that I wanna go somewhere where I've never been to give you guys a more authentic experience. So I decided to go with the barbershop, 2% uh, barbershop in uh, Rancho Cucamonga which is in Victoria Garden. So uh, the reason I chose this shop is they're known for being a more higher end shop as well as charging uh, a higher base price than other shops in the area. I believe my haircut that I booked today, it starts at $45. So that's pretty high for just a, a public shop, walk-in, that type of deal. So uh, it's about 3.30 right now. My appointment's at four. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think I have a filmer today. My boy Andrew wasn't able to make it out. So I'm gonna try and film this as best as I can for you guys, give you guys a before and after, a look of the shop and uh, some commentary on my experience. Um, I just went on and booked with any random person. So this is gonna be the experience if you were to go and just book with someone random. Let's see how much of a difference there is between the best and the worst barbershops in my area. Let's go. We just arrived at the shop, uh, so let's go ahead and go in and get our haircut. It is crazy hot out here today. All right, so since I actually didn't have a filmer, I didn't get any footage of inside of the shop or of my haircut like I did with the worst reviewed. So here I'm just gonna have on screen some of the reviews from their Yelp, as well as some pictures they have on their, their Yelp and then from their website. Uh, it's a really clean shop. Um, the barbers there you know, look real professional. So here you see we got some of the pictures of their clientele and then here is their website and then this is where I booked on I just clicked book chose a date and time and then the barber I went with was a guy named I believe Jameson 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 and then I believe I'm gonna have on screen here 
here it is with the cut the price of the cut you see it's at $45 and this one includes lineup style straight razor and yeah so with the magic of editing the cuts finished let's go ahead and jump to the after all right what's up everybody I am back home now and I'm gonna show you guys the haircut so, I mean you can see the front view uh, I'm trying to get some good lighting on this Y'all don't be ripping the wrinkles in my head. But okay, so you guys just looked at before and after. I'm gonna take pictures as well as, as a video. We're gonna compare them side to side. And one thing that did stick out to me is he did it extremely fast. Uh, my haircut appointment was at four o'clock. Uh, I probably sat in the chair around 4.07 and I was out of there by 4.25. I mean, less than a 20 minute haircut. I mean, you don't have to spend a whole lot of time, but we're gonna go ahead and check out his work and see if that was worth the time. All right, I'm gonna do this just so I can get a good, um, of what the cut looks like. So one thing I will say about both, both used clipper over comb on the sides here. So if you really look at it straight on, there's kind of some corners. I thought it was really interesting that both barbers did that. Maybe they thought I was a military guy. I don't know. And they give me like a higher version. But one thing I will say is there's not a whole lot of transition, okay? A floor is a lot to fade into. You could get some good transition with the floor. And you can see it's uh, pretty light all the way through. There's some lines I see. And then it's not completely balded out on the bottom. He did use a straight razor at the end. A $25 service versus a $60 service or a 19 versus a 45, which you wanna include the tip or not. All right, so right now I'm just gonna be giving you guys my opinions on pictures from the best and the worst review shop so here up so first up we got pictures of the best reviewed cut um you see there's a little bit of a dark spot right next to where that mole is on my head um it's not bolted out completely on the bottom here you can definitely see some lines around the middle of the fade some kind of patching is dark spot. it's not the cleanest fade i've ever seen in my life uh it's not terrible and then here from the back, you can see it's really blocky, really square. Like it's not a complete even four all around, which is really strange to me. And then here we have the worst reviewed uh, fade. And this one doesn't have as much obvious lines, but it's also not the cleanest fade. Um, this side you can't see very well, but there are some little dark spots. It does have, they're, they're both not the best fades ever. All right, guys, so that was the before and after of the best reviewed shop in my city. So now you've seen them, the worst reviewed and the best reviewed. I'm going to give them a rating each out of five stars, starting with the worst reviewed shop. The worst reviewed, I'm going to be giving it three stars, all right? That's taking into consideration the, the price point, the customer service, the quality of the haircut, all of that. And then for the best reviewed shop, I'm going to be giving it three and a half stars. Uh, I... I don't want to, <clears throat> this is the thing. I don't want to say any shop is good or bad or any of that. I'm just giving my honest, uh, I'm just giving my honest opinion as a professional barber. And both of the cuts to me were similar in quality. Uh, both, both of the customer service experiences were similar in quality. The only big difference that stood out to me was the actual shop itself. It looked nicer at the better reviewed. But on top of that, the price point, one shop charged me $19, the worst review shop and the best shop charged me $45. Let me know in the comments down below, seeing that the final product of each shop, what you would rate them personally, if you agree with my rating. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions for future video ideas, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one.